here we have um, eighty amp power, four point two volt cells that are connected in series to make twelve volts. I use these on my kayak is why they're in waterproof boxes, waterproof connectors, waterproof cable glands. These are LG cells, which are 2.6 amp hours each. Connect all connected in parallel for one big cell. And this foam's just in here to stop it from knocking around. Each one has a voltmeter on it. I think 30 um, 18650 batteries in these two and then I think there's 42 in this one because I didn't use LG cells I just use cheap shitty cells and I got all these cells out of new laptop batteries so you can see this one's a lot larger Let's crack it open. There's a lot more cells in that one. But this one's, I think, 85 amp hours. It weighs a lot more. A lot, lot more. I just did that because these were cheaper cells. And, yeah, I just couldn't be bothered. So we connect them together for 12 volts by going, let me think, negative into positive, which is these two. These are all waterproof connectors by the way. So then if I test these two, I'll be... 8 volts. Probably say I want 12 volts, so we go negative to positive. On these two. And then I have negative here, positive here. And let's bring this over. See what we have. Bear in mind these are not charged. The batteries are actually pretty much spent. From my last fishing trip. I have a trolling motor in my kayak. Yeah, I don't think this is. I need two hands. when it's fully charged it'd be 12.6 so I mean that's not bad it worked good because before this I used to have to carry a car battery a marine cycle battery which weighed 55 pounds all these weigh 12 pounds in total so yeah it's not bad they look good, they're waterproof, yeah, that's it for now.